I'm Abigail Freyer here with Real TV Films. I am joined by Haley Grip, who is an actress and an anti-bullying advocate. Tell me about how acting um, has given you a little bit of leverage in the anti-bullying community and what you stand for and what you're doing. Of course. Um, well, I'm 23 now, but at 20 I started acting. I uh, was born with something called Tourette syndrome. I don't know if you've heard of it or whatnot. And I wanted to become an actress specifically because it's portrayed in the media so wrong. Um, oftentimes Tourette syndrome is known as the cursing disability or whatnot, which coplalia, only 0.5% of people with Tourette syndrome actually have. And so I started and I did CSI, Lifetime, Hallmark, and a bunch of commercials. But then I really realized the impact I was making by raising awareness, not just about Tourette syndrome, but about bullying in general. We have a huge epidemic that's not just national, but international. And um, from my generation, I didn't have social media in middle school and whatnot. And my bullying was so bad that I had to get a law passed. So I, I feel for the people that have the social media because they're being bullied at school and then they come home and they're being bullied. There's no break whatsoever. Um, so I have been focusing a lot of my time on traveling around and giving speeches. I recently, last weekend, just spoke at the second annual Say No Bullying Festival. And then I'll fly to Miami, and, or Minnesota in two weeks, then Miami. And, uh, you know, in life, it's every action that we have has a reaction. 100%. I couldn't agree with you more. And with cyberbullying being so huge now, how do you think we can take social media and turn that around to counteract cyberbullying? I think it's all about showing positivity on social media. So many people go and they don't realize that um, you know every little picture is criticized, and I deal with that myself. Is you know it's it's the saddest thing. You have to have a certain sort of image. Any one slip up and you're, you know, you're trampled. But if you're bullied and you're already a target, there's no stopping. So what we can do is uplift others by being encouraging, complimenting, bringing each other up for their self-esteem. I couldn't agree with you more, Haley. It's so nice and thank you so much for speaking with me about this. Um, last question, if you could talk to your past self or if you could talk to someone who is being bullied currently, what is one tip that you or one piece of information that you would give them to help them get through it? Um, it's something that I practice every day is loving myself. And if I could tell myself not just to not listen to the other people, but to march to the beat of my own song because I tried so hard to fit in and all that time I wasted fitting in, I wasn't truly living. And a life, you know, where you're not happy, that's not living. Happiness is a choice, but it also is based on the t decisions that we make. That's a great tidbit of advice, and I love Thank that. You. I couldn't agree with you more. Thank you so much for joining us tonight, and go in there and have some fun, okay? I'm so excited, and thank you. Thank you for coming out, raising awareness. That's what we need. Uh, the epidemic is far from gone, but it's um, media sources like you, events like this, that really bring everything full circle. A day at a time. A day exactly. at a time. Exactly. One day at a time. Thank you so much. You have a great evening, okay? You too. Okay, you. bye. Thank you, sweetie.